how to help your wife who is struggling with low confidence, low self-love, body image issues, and low self-worth. Husbands, this is how you do that. Through you, you lead them by example. All the things that she is struggling with, you level up. Grow your physical, your mental, your spiritual, and your relational. She will watch what you are doing from afar and gain interest. And as you are growing, you can encourage her to join in with you and do it together with love as a team. Everything he said is true because he did that exact same stuff for me many years ago. Now we are seeing it in people we coach all over the world. Death is not when we stop breathing, it's when we stop thriving. Exactly, right? So many people, you know, it's not, you've heard that quotation before, you know, you might go in the grave at 75, but you actually stopped dying, you actually stopped living and being alive at 25, right? When we stop thriving, that's pretty much death because then we're just ticking off the days and it's not all that fun. You see it in people all the time who, are, who hate going to work on Monday. If you don't like going to work on Monday, figure out a way, and there's plenty to do it to not go to work on Monday and do something you actually love because guess what? Time's flying by. And if you're, you know, we're 40 in our 40s, if you're the same age or around that, you know how fast time is going. So, same thing in your relationship. You've got to just level up. If you're not happy with where you are, and that's okay, it's not necessarily like, oh, you're a loser. No, that's just an alarm clock going off saying it's time for you to step it up. For something needs to change. It's that alarm clock sounding, but you're just listening to it all the day. Every year, year after year, you're just listening to this alarm clock going off. You're like, I wish the thing would shut up. Well, there's a way to shut it up by how? Doing something different, right? Doing, taking action. You know, that's the biggest thing. But as husbands, how do we do that? We lead by example. Oftentimes, we can't go to our wife, if, even if we know she's struggling maybe with some confidence issues, some body image issues, she's gaining weight, all this. We, it's hard for us to be able to go to them because if we say, hey babe, I think you probably need to lose some weight and it would make you feel better. They're already feeling terrible. Now their husband says that even though they, because they know it's the truth. That's why you see it all the time in people who are obese. And I'm just using obese people as an example here who get frustrated and mad at people who are in shape. Because it, when anytime you mention something about health and fitness, it hits so deep for them that they don't want to take advice because they don't want to hear it even talk about it because it's such a bad, touchy area for them. But that also needs to be a good thing for them to say, hey, it's time to change. And when I say those things, it's not that I don't have things to change. There's every single day I analyze and say, hey, I can do this better in my life. But that keeps us always improving every day as long as we do those things. So same thing as men, stand up, Lead your spouse by example. If she's struggling with body image issues, you take yours to the next level. If she's struggling with confidence, you start implementing steps and processes to grow your strength in your mind. You have more confidence. You start growing all that. If she's struggling and she's you know lost her faith and things like that, you take that on you. If you're a faith-filled person and take that to the next level, encourage her, grow that, do things together with that, and then grow your relationship. But you need to do it together. You need to encourage her and because the person who holds somebody accountable loves them far more than the person who lets them stay the same. Yes. Husbands are meant to lead. I know it's 2022, but here's the thing. Men are meant to be men, to lead. Women are strong. Lots of them are out in the workplace now. CEOs killing it. They're alpha. I love it. It's huge. <laughs> But women still have different traits than us men. And us men in the home are called to be leaders. Not that women can't be, but they need us to be leaders as well. Even if they are, they need somebody else being a co-pilot that's a leader. So stand up, do what you need to do, and lead them. By example, much love. If you need help, reach out.